quarter to the UN, there's 46,000 pieces of plastic litter that are floating on every square mile of the ocean. Fishing for energy is an effort to remove marine debris from the waters that the fishermen use, burn it in a high temperature boiler, and convert the steam that it generates into electricity. Each year we dump about 14 billion pounds of garbage right into our oceans. It has become an extension of our landfills. There is a movement to try to bring together two environmental themes. One, the cleanup of uh, our waterways and oceans, and two, trying to use our disposed waste as energy sources. Today, we're about to start up our Fishing for Energy program in Provincetown. Fishing for Energy is the process of taking marine debris converting it to steam and then into electricity. We're giving them a way to do that by providing them with the dumpsters and not just leave things out at sea. Now the fishermen can be more responsible and be able to clean up our environment at the same time. They're looking for nets, wire, um, rope. We used to have to pay to throw this stuff away. Who wants to pay to throw garbage out? It's like throwing money away. How much effort is this for you to pick up something extra? So you can stack it on, on the bow and, mm -hmm. you know, take five minutes to haul it in and, you know, bring it in board. I bring it into the port and drop it in a minute. It really shouldn't be that much of a problem for anybody. So this fishing trap could turn into energy for homes all up and down the Cape. So it's a pretty neat project. Historically, burning waste has been unpopular because of the fear or reality of toxins and carcinogens that are released. But I think that's a story from the 70s. The technology has advanced dramatically, and so has our science and our understanding about the impact of fine particles and so on. It just really depends. Can, can we do it in a way that will limit the impact on the environment while enabling us to actually use that energy? Because we need it. We're going to need all the energy we can get. We're at the Covanta facility in Preston, Connecticut. Covanta is a renewable energy company. We take municipal waste, burn it in a high temperature boiler, and convert the steam that it generates into electricity. The technology was developed in Europe where very high temperatures could be applied to what is otherwise a difficult to burn waste. Hi Paul, John Benson. Hey John, good to meet you. Good to see some nets. Sure, that'd be great, let's go do a good uh, inspection to make sure that we didn't get anything that we don't want okay. in here. But a lot of the metal will just go through our regular recycling Yes, yeah, small process. pieces of metal will come out in the back end when we pull the ferris okay. out. Recycling is very important to what we do, especially metals. Overall, our industry recycles over 700,000 tons of metals a year. After the waste is spread out on the floor, it's lifted into a containment area that feeds it into the boiler. The boilers are specialized at very high temperature, as high as 2,000 degrees. That's key to having a clean process. The first line in, in keeping emissions down is in the clean burn. Absolutely. Those nets are history. History, uh, <laughs> soon to be uh, energy. clean, renewable energy. energy. Right. The ash goes to a specialized landfill after it's been tested to make sure it's not going to leach anything that might be harmful. As a society, we all believe we need to recycle more and we need to turn our waste into renewable energy. Green America, I'm all for that. In a perfect world, we wouldn't be producing any waste, we wouldn't be producing any trash. But we have it, it's something that is a fact of life, and it's projects like this that'll give us more innovative solutions to deal with it.